been going on? Since the last time I was here, I've had some big life changes. To get in, it was insane. <laughs> hey again, it's Kayla Mack, and I am an 18-year-old ballet dancer in New York City. From practicing in PT to work study in school, this is an intense week in my life. Sorry, 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 sorry. Every day I need to balance school and practice and everything in between. This is what a day in my life actually looks like. My day starts off around 7.30 in the morning. Busy day. <laughs> and then I'm out of my dorm by 8.15. I'm all ready now. And I'm gonna go get some breakfast. And I really like tea in the morning, so I do get tea. Peach, ginger peach tea, pineapple, and then Phil makes the best sandwiches. Wait, and I can't wait to eat it, so. We go to our liberal arts class, which starts at 9 a.m. Oh, I have to work on my essay. We go straight to a dance class, whether it's either point or ballet. We have a lunch break for 50 minutes. Sushi, oh. yummy. We have our new dances rehearsal from four to seven. Right after dinner, I hammer down and I go to my desk and I just start work that I have from liberal arts classes. And now I'm going to work on my essay. It's a research paper. From nine to 10, I'd usually have studio space. I do my night routine, and then I am off to bed. I took a shower, and I'm ready for bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. And then the next day starts again. <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up. It is now 7.30. So New Dances is an event that the Juilliard Dance Division holds. It's basically a showcase of all the dancers. Each class has a performance. I'd say about like nine minutes of choreography. Throughout the New Dances rehearsals, we had Monday, Wednesday, Thursday of rigorous dancing. But in between those days, I would sometimes reserve studio space to just work on myself and in some of the techniques that I'm having trouble with. Can I do it one more time? Perfect, okay. This semester at Juilliard, I am practicing three major techniques, the Lamone technique, Graham technique, and Alexander technique. Right now, I'm gonna be rehearsing for Kylie Kwan's piece for New Dances. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Limon Technique is a modern technique. For me, it's one of the hardest. It looks so easy, like when our teacher, Risa, demonstrates, we're like, oh, it looks easy. It is really hard. You have to use the weight of your head. It has to do a lot with stabilization and being grounded. It's a foreign language to me. I've never done it before, so. I mean, from the first day of Limon to now, I've learned a lot. Graham technique is another modern technique that we study at Juilliard. It's a lot of upper body movement. It has a lot to do with like, the back strength and your back in general and how everything kind of roots from that. It's a very like passionate type of movement. It's really fun to do, but it does involve a lot of back strength. <laughs> okay. Alexander Technique is all about alignment. I've actually learned a lot from it. It's really helped with alignment and especially like lower back pain. It's actually very calming in a sense. 
just got done with Alexander and now there's a little like special Juilliard performance going on for the holidays. Yes! We all support and love each other as much as we can. My tribe is my whole class and the whole Juilliard community. I think we're all such a close-knit group of friends. Look at my beautiful friend! Yay! Look, we made it to the Rockefeller Center tree! Merry Christmas! So I just got back and now I'm going to work on my writing seminar essay and my music studies project. I hope I get done soon because I'm tired. <laughs> Not only do I have to focus on my new dances rehearsals and schedule, but I also need to focus on my music studies project and my writing seminar essay. Balancing it with the new dances schedule is hard because we're so exhausted from new dances rehearsal. So in high school, I had the world of you know school and academics, and then I got to leave that world and go into the dance world. But now at Juilliard, it's basically combined. Okay, so for dance, I usually pack a bottle, my wallet. I also just pack a clip, just in case, like for my hair. My big bag of point shoes and ballet shoes. I also need my Juilliard ID, which like hangs right there. And then, of course, a beautiful mask. This is basically what's in my point shoe bag. One of my essentials is Tiger Bomb. I do use it like a lot. I'm like almost out. The main areas I put it is usually like calves, like near my shins, like shoulders and back, like lower back definitely, like the pec area, like over here. Quads, hamstrings, you name it. <laughs> Throughout school, I've been going through a lot of point shoes. This is my third pair, fourth, fourth pair this semester. <laughs> um, yeah, these are really dead. So these are new point shoes. They're relatively hard. A dancer wants to break in their point shoes so that they can like roll through their feet. The hard part for me is always like trying to figure out which one's left and right. I love point, like point's one of my favorite classes. It's really informational and helps me a lot just with like balance and engagement. Dance homework was new to us, so kind of um, adapting to that was also a change. It's the end of the day and I just took a shower. I just got out of rehearsal, and yeah, my body's kind of tired. It's a mental struggle, just uh, confidence-wise, I think. Like, today in my class, I don't know if it was my best, and I feel like I was hard on myself. Some roadblocks that I think I faced during my first semester is um, imposter syndrome. It's hard because there's so many amazing dancers right next to you. So like if one day you're really like, I'm not feeling myself, like I'm not um, executing the way I want to. And the person right next to me has this beautiful facility and can do anything and everything. It's been hard confidence wise, I think, like in class, being a freshman, like being a first year and being so new to all of these different styles, it's hard to have the confidence to be yourself. It, there's so many positives to it. Like, it pushes me and makes me feel like I want to do better, but at the same time, it uh, kind of introduces like comparison and um, just self-doubt sometimes. Hey, um, so I'm going to the coffin studio for Lamone now. During the new dances rehearsal, I would find my body struggling a bit um, especially like in my shins and in my back. It was hard to know what was enough and when I can hold back a little so that my body was prepared for new dances. For me, like stretching was really big. I have sushi, yummy. And then 
then we have like an hour of tech. We have a pretty long break. And then we have dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal and everyone is watching. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> and scared. And scared. <laughs> For tech week, we have a ballet class every day. And then costume fittings. We just finished what? Like tech? The first half. We still have more. <laughs> but we look, we got our costumes. Yes, costume fit. Oh. Oh. Rehearsals with the live music, which has also been very interesting. Cause like, this is kind of my first time dancing with live music and it was actually a really new experience for me. It, it, it was a very long rehearsal, but it actually went by pretty fast. We just got done with um, dress rehearsal. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go get Boba and then after I'm probably gonna work on my essay, so yay. Good morning. So today is performance day. I am kind of nervous, but I'm also just really excited. Um, last night's dress rehearsal was so fun. There's a little bit of nervousness, but mostly excitement. I get a good breakfast. Right after that, we go straight to a warm-up class. Our teachers just like keep telling us like to take care of our body and rest. You know, putting on that costume and being in that dressing room with my friends, it was, we were just screaming the whole time. We were so excited. Opening night! It's so I'm so nervous, but it's fine. I'm excited. The curtain's closed and we have time to kind of breathe together as a group. Getting into the zone was really important. I tried to like listen to the music in my head. I told myself I'm going to embody the music. Juilliard became a dream for me when I was about 12. It's always been a dream for me, so to get in it was insane. <laughs> I felt so fulfilled and grateful and inspired and being lucky enough to be in this class. It was emotional for everyone, I think, like just to have so many people's energy on stage all at once. It was unforgettable. So I just got off stage and it was the best feeling ever. This week, I had to practice for new dances, balance academics as well, and take care of my body, also work on my confidence. In spite of all that, I made it. <laughs> what advice would you give to your younger self? I think I would tell myself, work hard and stay humble, take in every moment, and cherish it as if it were your last. <laughs>